Freedom. Long, long ago, in a forest, there lived a little wolf with his friends, the birds and bunnies and the snakes and the rivers and trees and flowers. Come on, wake up, you lazy bum! It is such a bright, beautiful day today. Let me sleep. Uh, uh. You know, there is a whole new mango tree that I found. If you don't come, you don't get any. Hey, wait up. I am coming. Where are you? Now that you're finally up, why don't we have a little game of hide and seek first? Come on, I am hungry, and I love mangoes. Well, er, you are going to have to wait for the mangoes, for the mango season is about three months away, you see? <laughs> <laughs> what? This is hide and seek, and it is your den for being the last one up. Wait till I find you. <laughs> And so the wolf lived with his friends, running and playing and teasing and doing exactly as they pleased. Then winter hit the forest. The birds migrated, the snake went into hibernation, and the bunnies too retreated in their little burrows to keep away from the cold. The beautiful trees and grasses got covered in a thick blanket of snow, and there was nothing left to eat. Tired and hungry, the wolf wandered into the forest looking for food. One day, as he was walking, Who's that? Hey, buddy, it's me. Why are you so grumpy? I am cold and hungry, bunny. That is no reason not to enjoy the beautiful season. Look at the gorgeous snowflakes, the beautiful white expanse, and not to mention the snowballs. Take that! Ha! Very well, then. Take that! Want to skate on the frozen river? Woohoo! <laughs> this is a silly idea, and I am cold and hungry. <laughs> the wolf, tired, hungry, cold, and in a bad mood, walked into a village. He saw children playing, peeped into homes with fireplaces around which women knitted and children read. Then in one house, he saw something that shocked the life out of him. What is that? He saw a dog, pretty much his own size, sprawling comfortably around the fire. Then someone came and brought the dog a dish of delicious-looking food. The wolf's hungry stomach churned and his mouth watered. The dog gobbled up the food hungrily and was even given more. Then he lay down once again, sleeping peacefully by the warmth of the fire. The wolf could not get this scene out of his head. Here he was, tired, cold, and hungry, and there was that dog, warm, fed, and comfortable. How he wished he had been in the dog's place. He watched the dog from the window all day, and then towards evening, the dog came out of the house into the front yard. Immediately, the wolf called out to him. Hey, dog! Shh! Huh? A wolf in the village? What are you doing here? And how did you get here? In this beautiful life full of food and warmth and comfort? <laughs> Would you like to stay here with me? It will be nice. My owners want a new pet, and they will be happy to have you here. Plus, I too get a little lonely, you know. Wait a minute. What do you mean your owners? The humans who own me, in whose house I stay, and who feed me and look after me. Why do they do that? I am their pet, and they want me to be with them and play with them and guard them. But why do you get lonely then? Because there is no one of my kind here, you know. Surely you can go into the forest to meet your family. Oh, no, I am not allowed to go anywhere on my own, you know. You see this collar? They attach a leash to it whenever we leave the house. 
You are not allowed to go anywhere on your own, which means no running in the wind, no hide and seek with friends, no splashing in the lake, no fighting with your friends, none of it? Oh, huh? you get to do all that? Every single day. Well, all I can do is to lay by the fire and let them cuddle me whenever they want. Want to stay with me? And leave my friends in the mad running about and the freedom of the forest for a few scraps of food? No, I shall take ice skating and falling and laughing with my friends any day over lying before someone else's fire. I will not be fed in a prison. Instead, I will roam free and with the help of my friends, make the most of whatever I have to enjoy it. Hey, come on! Come and visit me sometime. And so the wolf went back to his beautiful free life in the forest. True, it was tough, but then not tougher than having to stay on a leash all your life. Every choice in life has its good and bad sides, but we must always choose what suits our spirit and our heart and then make the most of it.